It is now on to the, the Wunderkind. Franz Wagner should put on the wig for this one. Put on Hans uh, Gunther and what's my name? What's my ger- German court cousin's name? Gunther. I'm Gunther. Yep. And you're uh, Uwe. Uwe, that's right. Uwe Blub. So um, I gave Franz five out of five steins of brew. Okay. Of beer. Yep. Um beer. Because there are more types of beer in Germany than anywhere in the world. Is that a real fact? It is now. You heard it on Core Cousins. <laughs> um, I mean, you can't say enough about the German sensation, the Wunderkid. Uh, he went up in points and assists this year, and he went up in efficiency in all of his mark uh, markers. Um, his non-corner threes, which is a shot that he really likes. He likes it at the top of the arc of that three-point shot, went up to 36%, that top of the curve three, which he really likes. He's see, We've seen that step back, come in more and more. Haven't seen the Dirk as much as we like, but he's got the Euro step, both hands off the glass. He always is finishing around, around the rim. It's just, it, it's only good things for me from Franz Wagner. Um, I can't say enough good stuff about this gentleman. Yeah, agreed. I, I wrote two. I know you did this one earlier for somebody else, but I, I did two thumbs up for Franz. Mm-hmm. A lot of guys have a sophomore slump. Yeah. Not so with Franz. Nope. Um, he excelled and got better. Um, like I think that happens with a lot of European players, honestly. It seems like they don't have that sophomore slump quite as much. It seems like they always get better in their second or third year. Uh, I don't know if that's because of the way they play ball growing they up like or played what. Pros they played before, pro before, not, yeah. so it's not it's as crazy to them. But yeah, it, it was definitely great that he didn't take any kind of step back. He definitely emerged just one of our main men on offense 18.6 from 15.2 is, is a great improvement in the second season especially with the amount of points that Paulo is putting up um you could have seen his right he could have easily had 15.2 again and we w- wouldn't have maybe questioned it because you know other guys are raising their game but here he is stepping up doing everything he needs to do traveling <laughs> no, <laughs> even though it's called no. the Euro step, no, he's but not. he gets away with it, so it's all good. I want to see him form a relationship with the referees who seem to give him absolutely no love. Yeah, it pisses me off. Mm-hmm. But sometimes European players they whine and they they get upset and they they don't get on the good side of the refs, and for some reason, he's not on their good side. So he needs to have his uh, assistant send those referees some uh, some flowers and chocolates and just let him know that hey, consider Franz Wagner for foul calls. Uh, when I drive to the lane and go off glass because I'm getting fouled. Yeah, he's getting hacked all over. You can see it. He's pasty just like me, so he's like scratched up by the end of the game. There's at least two times per game where he gets fouled. There's no call. He, of course, bitches about it. And, you know, they're not going to be like, oh, he bitched. We got to give him the foul call. You know, they mm-hmm. only do that for Braun. Mm-hmm. So he needs to up his status, make some all-star games Yes. Uh, before you start to get that kind of cred. But he needs to just uh, zip it a little bit and realize that th- that stuff will come. Yeah. Paulo's getting it pretty early, which yes. is probably part of why he's so frustrated. Here's right. a guy in his first season just getting all the calls, and I'm getting nothing. So maybe Paulo's taking too many calls, actually. Maybe I should split those a little bit and just make it more even, because Paulo's getting away with a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he has not fouled on a lot of those shots he takes. But, but he, he just draws so much contact, I, I think, as opposed to Franz, who's kind of he's wiry like he'll yeah. move around the contact and he mm-hmm. does that well paulo kind of seeks the contact which is a little different yeah, in the ways true. that they play um considering their stature is so so similar being 610 guys um yeah you know as you say franz here's a stat you'll hate this is the percentage of a player's shot attempts he was fouled on um that's 11.3 percent it's you know still top half of the league but it's low it's very low it is top half of the league it's in the 66 percentile okay so he's in, you know, the 34th percentile in terms of drawing fa- how many of his shots draw fouls. But, you know, his usage was down, but I mean, his usage was up this year, which is something that I hear a lot of fans, uh, you know, talking about. I want to see the ball in Franz's hands more. I want to see the ball in Franz's hands more. Yeah. The numbers show that he actually did. Ha- he had a higher usage by three and a half percent this year. Yeah. So he did have the ball in his hand to end more possessions this year than last is 3.5%, 3.3% enough for Magic fans? Right. Sometimes we want we want a little bit more fourth quarter fronts. There were definitely some times last year when we didn't have Paulo as an option where it's like, why is the ball not touching? We need a bucket. Why is the ball not touching the hands of Franz Wagner at some point? Mm-hmm. Like they didn't run a play for him to be a decoy either. He just isn't part of the play. And that can't happen. But right. it didn't this year. So even with adding Paulo, it didn't diminish his usage. So that's fantastic. And that's why it's two thumbs up. 